Hey everyone, Laura Baker here, Everyday Horsemanship, and I want to introduce you to Mata Nui, or better known as Mott. She is my 2023 Extreme Mustang Makeover Mare, and I've been doing some Liberty work with her, and I wanted to talk to you today about using the whistle cue. So what do I mean by the whistle cue? So I implement the whistle cue pretty early on because I want to gain the horse's attention and have them connected with me. So basically my whistle cue says, I'm losing connection with you, reconnect with me. So I'm gonna show you what that means in the early stages. So if I go to walk off and Mott doesn't walk off with me, oh, she's thinking about it, that's all right. <clears throat> I'm gonna whistle and she's gonna come. Quick girl. So I gave a double click there just to reward her that that's exactly what I'm looking for since it's pretty early on for her yet. And I'm gonna walk off again. I'm gonna go this way. And that'll also draw her attention too. Going back towards the hindquarters. Good girl. I'm gonna try to get further out. So I just want to tell her I want it to come from behind. There we go. Good girl. That whistle cue really helps me out. So when a horse leaves me at Liberty, I can whistle to them and that helps to bring them back to me. It also helps if I just start to see them losing that connection in the Liberty Circle, I can whistle at them and that draws their attention back to me because they know what that whistle means. I only use that whistle for this purpose, for nothing else. We're gonna try it again. Oh, she's gonna follow me, that's good. <clears throat> I do use it also to call my horses from across the arena to come running towards me. I want her to come a little closer. So I'm gonna come in from behind. Good. I'm gonna stop and reward and click. I'm gonna click because she did it and then I stop and reward. I should, I, I said that a little bit out of order. I'm gonna come back over here where you can see me in the camera. This will work too to call your horses up from the pasture. If you've taught this to them, I know some people teach them just by calling their names. I was a little late in my click there. So I was busy talking, so I'm just gonna. See how she's responding to that. Good girl, good girl. Come on. Good girl. And you notice she's responding. She, again, even from a distance. And I'm just going to stop and reward right there. I've been a little late just because of talking, so I really wanted to reinforce that behavior right there, that she's coming to me when I'm calling her. There. 
I want to catch her while she's doing it. That's really more important to catch in that click because I want to mark the behavior versus marking afterwards when she stops, which is what I was doing, not intentionally, but because I was trying to talk at the same time. And sometimes I don't do well doing, doing multiple things. Good girl. And I'm gonna to come to her on this one because Again, just rewarding that behavior. So I want her to come in a little closer. I'm gonna add a little pressure from behind. Good job. Good job, Mott. Yes. So there you have it. That's the whistle cue. Just wanted to introduce you to that. I'll see you in the next video.